Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time once again that we get into casting another game of StarCraft II. This is going to be a uh, Platinum League game featuring a red Protoss player spawned into the top right corner of Stasis Ellie. We have Absalon. What is his... Is that like... I don't know what that is. I want to say that it's go, but I'm pretty sure that, uh, that that's not, and I'm just an uncultured, disgusting American. But anyway, <laughs> moving over to the other side of the map, we see our blue Terran player, known as Zayok? Coax? Backwards? I don't know. Zayok? Whatever, man. People got some weird tags, but that's okay. Um... I'll tell you right now, I'm hoping to see Battlecruisers. We're going to put that plain and simple. I've been kind of a little bit addicted to uh, building some Battlecruisers as I'm trying to build up my knowledge of Terran. And maybe I can pick up a couple of things. I don't know. Not really seeing anything cheesy coming out, which is good. This is kind of odd. The two gateway at the front. Pylon, okay. SCV is going to come in and definitely see this. That's not anything dirty. Just put like one more pylon here, maybe. I don't know. Um, Cybercore, okay. And then he's going to. What is this, dude? What is this? And these these lower league players. Somebody else did this. I'm pretty sure in the other lower league game that I cast today, uh, this exact same thing happened. That's so bizarre. I didn't know that anybody did this anymore. So looks like we've got uh, the reactor being built onto the barracks, factory being built right behind it. Pretty standard stuff coming out of the Terran player besides the the gas steel. <laughs> Very nice. We're going to send the Zealot up to take care of that so Protoss player can get his other gas. And another gateway being added. We do have Chrono started. Not Chrono. We've got Warp Gate started and being Chrono boosted out. Another pylon being placed. I mean, I guess. What's he making? Why is he so high on supply? I don't understand how Protoss works, man. <laughs> Two zealots are going to be able to clear up that refinery. Meanwhile, the uh, Terran player is going to be putting down a second base. The tech lab being put on the factory. We've got some marines being produced from the racks with the reactor. Very nice, very nice. And what's he going to build? Nothing! <laughs> nice! And more marines. That's cool, I guess. Uh, we build a starport. Pretty standard stuff. We keep adding on some more gateways while you're over here, mate. Wait, wait, while you're over here, why don't you put down a nexus? There you go. We do have some uh, cybernetic score almost finished up with warp gate. So we're going to have four. Hopefully by the time that warp gate finishes researching. And we've got a shield battery put down at the front. This is cool. This map is cool. I like this. Photon cannons also being put down. Just ready to hold uh, this, this horrifying ball of marines that's going to come up. So we've got a singular tank and then we're going to do the swappy swap thing, right? That's how, that's how this works. This is what I'm trying to pick up on. I want to know how to do more things. Always oh, making a meta bag. eBay also being started. We'll get some upgrades for... The Terran player. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're basically just watching... Both of our players try their best to fill out their bases. We've got a Widow Mine in production. That's also very interesting. You would think, because he's got, uh, no, that's not who I wanted. Oh, he's been using the mules. Okay. I don't know. You would think that he would scan, but. There's really, like, <laughs> it's funny to see neither of these players actually doing anything. 
That combat shield just started. Weapons also. Both players starting their uh, their melee upgrade or their, you know what I mean, their weapon upgrades. And the orbital just finished, so he's gonna be dropping in some more mules. Very nice. What's that? Mm, okay. We're uh, <laughs> we're just gonna let him be. He's fine. Robotics facility coming up for our Protoss player. Curious to see what he builds out of it. Yeah, there's not really too much that's going on here. I guess he wants to get both upgrades at the same time, but... Um Hey, all right, man. What are we looking at for uh, income here? Slightly in the Terran's favor, probably just because of the mules. Protoss does have more workers, however. By quite a large margin. We do finally see the third base going down from the Protoss side. Nice. Where is that? We've also got the Robo Bay. Just about done. So that's the only reason he built this, yeah? Gonna make some Colossi? Some disruptors, perhaps. Many, many gateways getting put down as well. Wow. Terran player actually producing a whole bunch of stuff. We do have armory almost finished. That's pretty good. Are we going to see it? We have the fusion core. No, you need the fu the uh, the armory first before you build a fusion core. Are we going to build something that starts with a B and ends with an Adel cruiser? Not quite yet. Interesting. Very interesting. We do see the... Uh, Yes, like I mentioned, the Robo Bay was built to reduce Colossus. Colossi? I'm pretty sure I heard somewhere that uh, Colossi is indeed not the plural. And it's actually like a, like a myth. It's incorrect. It's just something that people have said all the time that Colossi was the plural. And it's actually incorrect. Unless I'm thinking of octopuses. I think it was octopuses. Anyway, <laughs> no matter what, we are going to see uh, Stim almost done. They already have combat shield. Yes, they do. Indeed. Plus one, plus one. We do have extended thermic lance. Thermal lance. Somebody correct me, please. I need to know, and I'm never going to touch Protoss. Well, no, that's, that's a blatant lie. I'm probably not going to touch Protoss by the time you comment on this video. Is it thermic lance or thermal lance? And what's the difference between those two words? Please, I need to know. It's very important. This is so bizarre. To see these people that just sit here and their armies do nothing. Maybe it's just because I play Zerg and that's not how it works. Like, you don't need time to build up your army. You can just make stuff and call it a day. But, like, this is madness, dude. They're just sitting here. Until what? Like, one of them walks in. Is that the strategy? You just wait until one of them walks in and you wipe them out because you've got defender's advantage and then you move across the map and win the game. It's very, very interesting. We've got concussive shells. The uh, Colossus upgrade that shall not be named almost finishing up. We've got col um, colossal shells. <laughs> Concussive shells finishing up for the Marauders. Weapons and armor plus two for the uh, the little guys down here on the ground. And then this one's uh, ship weapons. This one's ship weapons. This one's vehicle weapons. Nice. Also, we do have Zealot Legs also. Starting production from the Proto side. 
along with the various upgrades that belong to the Protoss units. Very nice, very nice indeed. We're going to see a bit of a scrap. I definitely don't think this is going to be the end of the game. Charge is not done yet for these Zealots, but there is quite a force of Photon Cannons down here to keep those pesky Marines out of here. We've got Stalkers to try to clean up the Medivacs if possible. Could be huge if he picks off one of them. <gasps> no, Blink. Do something. You don't have Blink. Do something to catch it. Oh, big, big damage. It's always the worst to lose a full Medivac of units. That is unfortunate, but uh, he looks like he's doing fine. He's got plenty of stuff. The Protoss does have quite a mass of units moving across the map, though. All of his tanks sieged up. This one isn't. He's going to need to defend this. Looks like the third base is going to drop. I don't know if the Terran has enough stuff to be able to defend this. Stalkers coming up the ramp, getting blown to bits by the tanks. But, oh my goodness, they do have the high ground vision. Colossi going to be absolutely wrecking the tanks that are up there. Taking out some of the Marauders as well. Might be a better idea just to hang out and let the Terran come to him. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to stay out of line of fire of those tanks. Maybe uh, he doesn't have as much of a, a mass as I thought he did, but... Very interesting. The worker count has absolutely skyrocketed into the Protoss player's favor. Basically got like twice his income. Really interesting. We are, uh... Moving on to our 3-3 our three, three upgrades for the Terran. And I'm pretty sure... Let me check this right now. I can check this right now. The green one is two. Okay. Can I get a Zealot? Yeah. So we're moving on into big boy upgrade town. I'm not exactly sure why we're killing the rocks. But that's okay. Make him feel strong, you know? Make him feel like he's doing something. So now would be a very, very inopportune time for the Protoss player to walk up and try to do something as the 3-3 is just about finished for the Terran player. And his upgrades aren't finished yet either. Man, we're just getting all of them, aren't we? A lot of, I feel like maybe these tanks should be a little bit further back. He doesn't really have that many, though. It's a lot of bio. It's very easy to get chewed apart by the Colossus, which he has quite a few of. Very interested to see where this fight's going to go. He does scan. Perfect scan, actually. Sees the entire army. Meanwhile, on the back of this, the Protoss has... Been expanding his economy even more. So, even if he does uh, lose quite a bit, I feel like any trade that he makes is going to be in his favor. Ooh. Okay. That could open up some sneaky plays. We do have the, the Terran Force trying to move in maybe to a more advantageous position, but maybe not right here. Because I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the Colossus can shoot over this. And they're just going to actually walk up there after they kill the rocks. Wow, that's brilliant. Cause a ruckus down there. An absolute decimation. This is what I'm talking about. The bio forces are going to get torn apart by the Colossi. They are being kept alive by the Medivacs. However, all of the stalkers seem to get decimated by the tanks. But like I said, I think any trade that the Protoss player can make is going to be worth it. Look at this huge bankroll right now. Absolutely massive. Wow. I'm honestly surprised. It's like the Medivacs are healing them through the, the Colossus damage. 
Even though he's got weapon three. Well, which one is it? This one, yeah? I don't know. I don't know my icons. I don't play Protoss. <laughs> so now we're getting into the part where, uh, basically... Ooh. Zealots. Ooh. Maybe. Maybe we should make some more Colossus. Now we're getting into the part where, okay, the Protoss player maybe needs to chill out a little bit. Let the Terran come to him and see what happens. He does have quite a few Photon Cannons placed about. Perfect scans again, dude. Wow. Actually. If he... Wait, where's he going? Why is he going that way? Maybe he wants to pick this off? I don't know if he knows that this is here, though. He does not. Which is really interesting. Alright, free real estate, I guess. But, uh... He did see where the army was. He could have just walked up. He knew what the army was. He knew where it was. He could have just walked across and handled it. But I guess I guess this is this is a safer bet. Moving up. The tanks do have the high ground. And these stalkers are going to blink onto him. Pretty slick move from Epsilon. Not going to be enough, though. The tanks in the back line absolutely destroy the Stalkers. He's going to need a little bit more than that to be able to break this. I feel like uh, having the Colossus there would have helped a little bit. But he does need the Stalkers to take out the Medivacs as well because the, the Bioforce is just going to keep getting healed. Very interesting to see that the... Uh, Terran player, I mean, although he's behind economically, he's got a pretty good spot right here. I'm not going to lie. So here we go again. Moving in with the Colossi this time. Very nice. Still not really enough of a force. He's kind of just building up a little bit and then throwing it away. So we do see some of these Colossi on the higher ground joining the fight. Here we go. Actual decimation of the, the Terran. Yeah, going to lose a couple more Colossus. And the tanks are still back there too, but he needs something to get rid of the damn medevacs that are, are keeping the bio forces alive. A lot of Colossus on the field right now. Looking at uh, at five altogether, even though it feels like it's way more. Not really too much army units from either side anymore. Oh, he's going to catch them as they unsiege, being able to take out one. Maybe one more. Two, yeah. Cleaning this up pretty handily. We do have some more Terran units moving across the map as it is, but it's just Marines. And some Marauders, too. They do have this big force of Medivacs able to come and heal them. But we do have some more Stalkers finally being warped in. As long as the, uh, the Stalkers can get on the Medivacs. That's, I know that that's, that's asking a lot. They've already got Stim. They've got Combat Shield. The Marauders have Concussive Shells. It's going to be tough. Stalker's walking into the tanks once again. Going a little bit too fast for the Colossi to catch up, but that's pretty good. It was a good good shot from the Colossus. Trying to take him out. I feel like he's going to stim forward. Yep, he's going to stim forward. Maybe try to do as much as he can. Colossi just slowly going to back up, walk up the cliff. Catch this tank right now. Nice job. You did it. I'm going to leave the Bioforce kind of just desperate to take out these Colossus. Colossi have absolutely hideously long range and there's so many of them now that the medevacs don't even matter but we do have some vikings we're putting in a little bit of damage 
There's only two, so it's not that much, but they do manage to take out a Colossus. Let's see, what else is he building? He's just making more Stalkers. Which, I mean, that's okay. He's slowly, slowly, slowly whittling the Terran player down. As you can see, he doesn't uh, really have that many tanks. He's got two, and they're right here. And that seems to be his uh, his one downfall, is losing all the Stalkers to tanks. And then the Vikings come in, and they, they make it a, a sad day for the Colossus. So... I feel like this is another one of those games where it's just going to come down to, like, one big fight at the end. And then whoever wins it, wins it, but... It's actually kind of impressive, to be honest. This man has kept up with his bases getting mined out pretty nicely, I would say. You gotta remember, these guys are in Platinum League. But comparatively to the Terran player, look, let's see. No base there. This one's basically mined out. His main is mined out. He just put this here. Like I said, the, uh, the Protoss player has kept up rather well, and I feel like that's going to be one of the, the biggest driving forces in his success. So we do have the Stalkers moving in. Tanks on Siege, now's the time to move in. Gonna back off a little bit. There's one tank. There's two on the ramp. But I don't think those can reach over here, can they? Barely. Single tank moving across this uh, path that was once blocked by rocks. I'm not really sure what he was trying to accomplish. Maybe just scouting, but there's there's better ways to do that. <laughs> I don't know if he was trying to just cheese and set it up over here, but this is uh, this is like smoke. You can't see through that. I don't think. So even if he sat, like, right here, it wouldn't have mattered. So here we go again. The two armies are going to clash. A lot of Colossi taking a lot of damage. The Vikings have reached a very critical mass at this point where the Colossus are going to be falling. Very, very easy for the Vikings to take them out. This is so interesting. I feel like I've never played on this map. Oh, maybe you can see through it. That's so weird. Wait. Oh, because he's got the observer here. Never mind. Let's see what happens when this tank comes up. No. Okay, good to know. We have another base in production, finally, for the Terran player. I'm actually really curious to see how the Protoss player handles this, because there is, like I mentioned, a large mass of Vikings. So now on top of the tanks, on top of the marines, on top of the marauders, on top of the medevacs, we have another threat that we have to deal with, that is the Vikings. Wow. I'm really impressed, I am. Call me crazy, but if I were here in Epsilon shoes, maybe I would consider building some carriers. I don't know. I feel like it would mess with the Vikings quite a bit. The tanks can't shoot them. The marauders can't shoot them. And carriers are just hype anyway. You know what I mean? I like I like carriers a lot. Maybe that's what I should do, man. I've been messing around too much with the battle cruisers. I'm trying to figure out all the stupid things you can do with that. Maybe I should just move on to to carriers. 
We are going to see once again both armies clashing. The Vikings leading the charge. We're focusing down one of the Colossus, two of the Colossus. But they are getting a nice surround here. I'm actually not too sure. The Protoss player is backing off as we see some of the bio forces charging up. Ooh, nice. Getting them cooked. Yeah. Very good. It looks like they got stuck and body blocked on each other. Coming through there. And forced to eat a lot of the Colossus laser for breakfast. So we do have the large mass of Vikings still. But a lot of the bio force is gone and the tanks really didn't get in too deep on that one. Is he going to catch the tanks on Siege? Oh my god, he is. Oh my goodness, that's going to be it for those tanks. Very nice. Very opportune timing. Uh, looks like the Terran player doesn't really have that much else besides the Vikings, which aren't really going to be that much of a threat because the Stalkers are there to clean them up. There's no tanks to kill the Stalkers. There's not really that much Bioforce either. Stalkers moving forward going to be able to handily clean up the rest of this army. Wow. Hey, that went pretty good. One stroke of opportunity. PP. Oh, they're like, uh, I don't even know. I don't know what language that is, but uh, could be Russian, but maybe that's just because I'm an un uncultured American. And I see a backwards R, and I think Russian, but uh, very well done by our Platinum Protoss player, Epsilon. If you guys enjoyed this video, you can leave a like and subscribe for some more StarCraft II casts. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.